Salut! In this video, you're going to see how you can easily practice French or any language that you're learning or maintaining at a cafe, marketplaces, whether you're in the country or not. Salut! My name is Rochelle DeMeo, your French teacher from Belter Academy. about the importance of going to different commerces, cafes, restaurants, markets, wherever, where you can practice the language and be able to really use it in context. So I'm going to tell you how you can do that regardless of where you live. And towards the end of the video, I'm actually going to give you a little bonus point that's going to help you have a little script handy in your mind and how you can easily be able to speak and implement it when you need to. So obviously if you're in the country, you're visiting France for instance or Switzerland or whatever country that is French speaking, it's easily to just go places and use the language because you kind of don't have a choice, right? Obviously you want to kind of force yourself to. I'm going to show you a little video of when I went to Italy. You guys know that I'm Italian is my heritage language. My dad's actually American Italian. And so I actually didn't grow up with Italian like I did with English and French. I learned Italian later. I learned Italian in high school. And so now it's a language that I'm maintaining. And um, here we're going to head to Italy. I'm going to a little marketplace and I'm going to show you how I try to just jump on every opportunity at the market to be able to speak Italian, practice Italian, get what I need, and kind of make the conversation a little longer just to be able to practice a little bit more. Let's jump into this little video and show you, let me show you this little trip that we did. And then we're going to talk about using French or any language that you're maintaining where you currently live without traveling to that country. Non, les pauvres. Quoi? Buongiorno. Eh, posso avere una um, qualcosa di quel uh, carote? Ouais. Il y a le bifon. Eh, perfetto, sì. Grazie. Queste sono buone crude. Sì, è per i bambini, così per la pelle sarà più abrosato. <ride> Adesso arriverà, ma penso un euro e cinquanta. Ok, anche posso avere delle fragole. E tutti sono prodotti di, di qui? In Italia. Ah, <ride> bene. Fragole? Sì. Una? Una, sì, sì, per favore. Lasciamo dentro, perché è bello. <ride> Il mercato più chiuso è l'una, più o meno, sì. Sì, 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 I don't feel like I have the best of accent in Italian, even if I am proud of my Italian heritage. However, at least I get to practice. So now let's talk a little bit about what you can do in the country you currently reside in. Three different things are going to help you be able to practice French, or again, any language that you're learning, and be able to do so regularly. First thing is that you want to research, look up different authentic places where you may find products from those countries. So it could be at a marketplace, maybe you found like uh, somebody who sells cheese that's French or that sells macaron, and you could look that up um, just by doing Google research based on where you live. It could be that you're looking up a restaurant that's again authentic French, you might want to look up if the chef is actually French or if they employ um, different waiters that are French speaking, cafes, it may even be like at a bookstore store or places that you might not even possibly think of that just happen to have a French owner. It could be like a little jewelry store and you find out that that owner, the person that works there that maybe does all the jewelry, I know one seems to be, that's why I mentioned it, um, is French speaking. It could be a makeup artist. It doesn't really matter. You just want to have like a pretty big repertoire, like repertoire of um, different commerces and places where these people are French speaking. And so that's the first thing you want to do is do that research to find them. Second thing is you want to just go and be able to practice the language. Remember that the person is going to associate you to whatever language you start 
speaking to men. So if you start directly with, hey bonjour, je m'appelle Rachel, comment ça va? Je me présente, ben j'habite dans le coin et justement je cherchais une coiffeuse donc ça tombe très bien. And so you already kind of have a little script and remember I'm going to give you that bonus point in a little bit but the thing is you want to be able to immediately engage in the French language when you introduce yourself and meet them. And then the third thing is you want to become a regular. So if you find like a cafe that you like, like I have, and this couple, like they're from Laos, French speaking country with a background from um, in Asia, and um, they speak French, they actually did some studies in Paris and whatnot, and so I go there, I'm a regular now, so as soon as I see them or any other kids that work there, I'm like talking to them in French, I'm ordering in French, and I've kind of become a regular. So you want to be able to have that, so it's a regular thing that you're doing. J'ai une baguette aux olives. Ah, super. Merci, ça a l'air tellement bon. So there's still a bonus tip, but first, you know, if you're getting value from this video, can you just give it a thumbs up? I appreciate it. So bonus tip is mentally start rehearsing different types of scripts depending on where you may encounter Frenchies, whether it's at a marketplace, whether you're at a cafe, at a restaurant, just kind of rehearse in your brain. Obviously, if you are a more visual learner, you may want to write it out. Um, we practice some of these scripts and so forth at Belter Academy with our um, classes so that students feel comfortable and they're kind of practicing together, practicing with me and actually with other French speakers that come on to our, in our classes. But um, what you want to do is you just really want to be able to practice different scenarios of using different scripts and the vocabulary that would go with that. So if you're ordering, let's say a baguette or something, and as you're driving to this place, start already thinking about what you're going to say. By having this mental exercise that's kind of done ahead of time, it's going to be easy. In the video that you saw in Italy, I wasn't rehearsed, and you can kind of tell I'm a little bit struggling. But in other times when I've mentally thought of a language and how I would be using it, like talking to one of my girlfriends who was a mom and she's Italian, I'm thinking, well, we're probably gonna talk about some kid stuff, so I'm thinking about all of the words in Italian that reflect kid vocabulary. Or a former colleague at a college I was teaching at, he was Italian and so I knew that we were going to be teaching, talking about teacher stuff in Italian, so I would rehearse a little script mentally before I'd head to the college in case I may even run into him. So you kind of want to do the same where you're mentally preparing and creating the script in your mind so that you feel prepared ahead of time before you even head there. If you like this video, please comment on what part of the video you like the most. Make sure you subscribe and share it around you. Merci d'avoir regardé les amis. Je vous dis à très bientôt.